Welcome to Pope on Film. I am Bunny Williams, and with me is I am the Pope in question. My name is Reverend May Lynn. I am the founder of the Church of Ed Wood, which is an actual thing worth a Google. It is episode 482 of this podcast. And Bunny, I'm just going to let you know right off the bat, I took an edible about an hour and 15 minutes ago. And so what I'm primarily going to be doing in this episode is focusing on the words that were written down by sober me. Okay. Okay, so we got this. Okay. Bunny! Yes! This is an episode of Celebration. Our podcast, The Pope on Film, was just awarded a huge honor. We won the award for best mid-sized sedan from Car and Driver magazine. Yes. Big deal. Real honor. We won another award recently. We won best Amityville horror film at the 2023 Fangoria magazine Chainsaw Award. Yes. Yes. That was kind of a tough one. Uh, for a number of points for one for our podcast not taking place anywhere near amityville and our podcast not being haunted so so i'm really proud that we managed to pull that out anyway yeah uh side note that is a real category in the fangoria magazine yearly chainsaw awards which shows you just how many low-budget Amityville movies people make in a year. Yes. Uh, now, I have two games for us to play, Bunny. Okay. At the beginning of this podcast. Originally, it was just going to be one. But um, the first game is about the 2023 Fangoria Magazine Chainsaw Awards. Okay. Okay. Um but but one thing before we get too far because yes. you you might not have heard because this pretty much just happened. But Joe Biden I heard has finally stepped down. Donald Trump has stepped down from the from the candidacy. Yeah. Finally. Yes. Doing the right thing for America. I I don't know how I feel about that. Neither do I. Yeah. Um, funny. There were five films nominated last year for the best Amityville horror film uh, at the 2023 Fangoria Magazine Chainsaw Awards. There were five films nominated last year, and one of them is made up. And you must find the fake film. Okay? Okay. okay. So. Here you go. Amityville Uprising. Okay. Amityville in Space. Amityville Scarecrow 2, which is the follow up to Amityville Scarecrow 1. Amityville Karen. And Amityville's Christmas Vacation. Those are the three films. Those are the five films. One of those is made up. Okay. You have to tell me which one I made up. I'm going Amityville Scarecrow 2. No, that Son one's real. Of a bitch. It's the sequel to Amityville Scarecrow 1. Do you have any other guesses? Well, I, I'm just stuck on the whole scare. The, uh, Amityville is on Long Island. There are not a lot of fucking scarecrows running around. I mean, if you if you told me it, that it was that it was Amityville Crab Two, okay, I might buy that. But like, 
Long Island was not filthy with 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 uh with scarecrows. So for there to be a scarecrow one is ridiculous. For there to be a scarecrow two, forget it. What what were the other choices? Because there has got to be one scarecrow Ca- uh, Amityville Karen. There has got to be an Amityville Karen. Amityville Uprising, Amityville in Space, Amityville Karen, and Amityville's Christmas Vacation. I'm going to go Amityville Christmas Vacation. That's fucking real. Oh, God damn it. In fact, I'm just going to, I'm not going to torch you anymore. It was a trick question. Those are all real. (coughs) Amityville Karen, Amityville (coughs) Uprising, Amityville In Space. They're all real. In fact, here are some more real Amityville movies. Amityville Emmanuel, Amityville Thanksgiving, Amityville Cup. Amityville, the new generation, Amityville Vibrator, Amityville Playhouse, Amityville Dollhouse, Anim- An- Anity, Amityville Clown House, Amityville No Escape, Amityville The Evil Escape, so much for it not escaping, uh, Amityville Moon, Amityville Asylum, Amityville Curse, Amityville Gas Chamber, and my favorite, Amityville. In the hood. In the hood. Yes. Bunny, thank your lucky stars we didn't do that summer. Yes. It was in the running for a while. That that probably would have just tipped me off the edge. Yeah. I it, my two of the ideas were either for uh Amityville movies or shark movies. Because Amityville movies are about as cheap to do as shark movies. And speaking of shark movies, here are some real shark movies. Jurassic Shark, Ghost Shark, Ouija Shark, Bull Shark, Cocaine Shark, uh, Alien Shark, Atomic Shark, Snow Shark, Noah's Shark. Three-headed shark, five-headed shark, six-headed shark attack, shark exorcist, shark yellow, zombie shark, swamp shark, ninja versus shark, raiders of the lost shark, 90210 shark, shark side of the moon, and uh, we already did two of the real shark movies out there. House shark, I love that movie. And Santa Shark. Remember yes. Santa Shark? Santa Shark, I remember I remember not really being as bad as one would think. Yeah. Like, I had so many bad ideas for uh, summer themes that it's a good thing the show's ending in October. <laughs> Bunny! Yes. Now it's time for the next game, which very which may very well be the most challenging game that we have ever played here on the Pope on Film podcast. And FYI, I did not invent this game. I actually saw a bar do this during a trivia night. But with my deep inside knowledge of the subject, I knew I had to retool it, give it my own spin. And so, Bunny, are you ready for our next game? Yes, I am. Okay. It is time to play one of the most difficult games ever concocted for the Pope on Film podcast. Female wrestler or drag queen? Okay. Are you ready for this? I, I'm, I'm not completely sure. Okay. I'm going to say a name, and you have to tell me if that is a female wrestler, independent wrestler, Luchadora, or okay, 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 but I don't have to specify like that, do I? I don't I don't have to be like, oh, that's a that's a female wrestler's name, and they are a luchador. No, no, okay, 
re- wrestler yeah. is good, right? I just say wrestler, yeah. and I'm yes. okay. Okay, okay. I have 20 names. That kind of scared me, yeah. I have 20 names. I already did this quiz with my two youngest kids. Max got a 10 out of 20, and Eleanor got an 11 out of 20. Okay. So not only will you be, you know, fighting for uh, pride, you're also you're also going to be fighting to try and beat Max and L. Okay. Okay. So here we go. A lot of the wrestlers, the female wrestlers, are AEW wrestlers or independent wrestlers, and a lot of the drag queens I specifically know and or have worked with. Okay. So. This is going to be fun. Number one, Trish Stratus. Wrestler. That was an easy one. Good job. Good job, Bunny. Good job. Well, Number it was two. from my decade, too. So. Yeah, yeah. Number two, RuPaul. Drag queen. Drag queen. Okay. There you Although, go. Do we, know that, do we know that he does not wrestle? No, we don't know that. We don't know that. Uh, I will say you definitely have an advantage solely because both of my two youngest got the first two wrong. Okay. And and, and it kind of hurt, you know. But yeah, how in the world would and either of my kids know who Trish Stratus is? Uh, number three. Willow Nightingale. That's a drag queen. That is a wrestler. She currently wrestles for AEW, All Elite Wrestling. Well, she has a backup career. Just in case this whole wrestling thing goes south, it is something that she should consider. Because really, Willow Nightingale? Willow Nightingale. If I was a drag queen, I would have to consider Willow Nightingale. Yeah, it's a good name. It's a good drag name. Number four, Tootie Lynn. Tootie Lynn. Yeah. I'm real high right now. I'm going to go wrestler on that one. Good job. She is a wrestler. She occasionally wrestles with AEW. But uh, most of the time, she's with MPW. Number five, Paprika Cherry. Caprica Cherry. Yes. That's a kind of borderline I'm going drag queen. Good job. Paprika Cherry is a drag queen. I have worked with them a couple of times. They are very awesome. Uh, Number six, Hex Ray. Hex Ray? Yes. H-E-X. I'm going wrestler. Nope, they are a drag (sighs) queen. Uh, drag king to be precise. Uh, I've worked with them twice. They do a drag number, and it's a uh, manner Muppet from the um uh, the Muppet reboot movie. Okay. And they're singing the man part, and then on their hand they have a little puppet, and the puppet sings the the puppet part. It's adorable. I love them. I love Hex, right? Sailor C. You've really picked some tough ones. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going wrestler. They are a drag queen. Damn it. Uh, The full name is Sailor C. Rhinestone. I effing love them. I got high with them. Okay, that's cheating. If you drop off the last word, I I don't know. I I think that's cheating. Huh? Okay, okay, okay. The Rhinestone Uh, may have helped that decision. They do a drag number to uh, 
Ziggy Stardust, and I absolutely love it. Okay, uh, number eight, Marina the Problem. I'm going drag queen on that one. Ah, wrestler. Oh, fuck he's you. <laughs> he's currently a jobber for AEW. This is so great, and I'm having so much fun. So I only okay. got I only got three now. I still You've only got, have. You have four questions right so far. Four, okay. Uh, number nine, Diamante. Your sound just went funny. Your sound underwater. Really? Uh, shit, shit, shit. Try Hold again. On. Just maybe you covered it up or some shit. How how am I now? You better. Yeah, better. Okay. Good, good, good. Uh number nine, Diamante. That could be anything. Yeah. Like not just wrestler or drag queen. It could be anything. Yeah. It could be a representative in the House of Parliament for the Labor to, for the Labor Party, Diamante. True, too true. You know, Senator Diamante. Yeah, I'm going wrestler. Good job. Uh, they, uh, I believe they're currently the Ring of Honor Women's TV Champion, but don't hold me to that. I believe she is. Number ten. Dion Monroe. Well, again, that's just anybody. Like, that can be an accountant. Yeah. <sighs> Attention, passengers. I will be your captain. My name is Dion Monroe. Perfectly acceptable. <laughs> wrestler. Shitty no, wrestler. Drag queen. Drag queen. They, I am sorry. Get another they're, name. They're one of my drag parents. Yeah? Yeah. They they love me. Number 11. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're a wonderful person. Get a better name. Dion Monroe? I love Dion Monroe. I, uh, uh, number 11, Lizzie Evo. Lizzie Evo. Yeah. Drag queen. Nope, she's a wrestler. <sighs> she's in the UK independent scene. Uh, number 12, Topatio. Drag queen. Yes, I, I, I shared a stage with them uh, at the Tower Theater. Yay. Uh, so you have six right, and we're going on to number 13. I believe in you, bud. Okay. Okay. Number 13, Enchantra Rose. Oh, that's a drag queen. That, yes. That, I, I, I would take that before Willow Whisper or whatever that was. Willow Nightingale. Willow Nightingale. Yeah. Enchantra yeah. This Rose. Is a good they name. love me. What? They love me. Yeah. Uh, Enchantra Rose invited me to a uh, stoning session. That's when a drag queen has an outfit and wants it to be covered in rhinestones, but that takes forever. So the drag queen uh, invites a bunch of friends, close friends, to come to the house, and there's pizza, and you get stoned, and you all rhinestone outfits. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That sounds so like I was fun. Invited, I was invited to a stoning. 
Okay, number 14. Thecla. 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 T-H-E-K-L-A. Thecla. Thecla. What's the name of one of my lawyers? Wrestler. Good job. Uh, she is currently wrestling with the Stardom promotion, which is an all-female uh, wrestling organization. So, all right, you've already got eight, and we are moving on now to number 15, Vicki Dillard. Vicki Dillard? Yes. It's just the name. Wrestler. No, they are a drag queen. Uh, I have worked with them twice, and I have no idea why, but uh, they fucking hate me. Oh. Yeah, I have no idea why. But I like Vicki Dillard. Uh, Vicki Dillard looks exactly like my high school journalism teacher. Yeah. So... Uh, number 16, Asuka. Asuka? Mm-hmm. Madison? Dun, 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 no, no. Asuka. Uh, I'm going to go wrestler. Damn right. She's the three-time WWE Women's Champion. Okay. Fucking love her. She, oh, my gosh. And she has a YouTube channel. So, so now, I'm, oh. now I'm going with the whole, well, the last one was a drag queen. So it probably wouldn't be a drag queen again. Let's go. Yeah, wrestling. but you know that I always fuck around with those. Yeah. So... Number 17, Ava Payne. Ava Payne. Yes. That, that sounds way more wrestlery. Going wrestler. Oh, re wrestler? Okay. No, it is a drag queen. I've worked with them three times. They are delightful. Really? Yes. Ava Payne. Number 18, Queen Aminata. Wrestler, because it's got to be a wrestler soon. Yes, she is a, a wrestler in the Japanese, uh, in the indie wrestling scene there. You have 10. You have currently... Uh, Tied Maxwell, but there's only two questions left. Yeah. So if you want to beat Eleanor, you're going to have to get these next two right. Okay. Uh, a friend would help me cheat. Just saying. Number, <laughs> number 19, Hilda Mangle. Hilda Mangle. That still sounds like a wrestler. That is a drag queen. Oh! They are, their real name is Steven, and they are one of Bite the it, owners. Eleanor. Of, they're one of the owners of Point A, the theater that I do uh, shows at on the regular. Uh, number 20, Kalea Fierce. Kalea Fierce. I'm going drag queen on that one. Good job. Not only are they a drag queen, but I have the hots for them. Oh. Boom. So, uh, that was female wrestler or drag queen. Uh, 20 questions. Bunny, you got 11 out of 20, meaning you 
perfectly tie my eight-year-old Eleanor. Yeah, but I could still beat her up. Yeah, you could still kick her ass. Probably. But, when she gets around this, 10, I'm going to be nicer to her. Yeah. This is a difficult game, and also that I love was. it. That was. I love it. I wrote that even... I wrote that before the before last week's episode. Yeah. The day before we recorded the last episode. So, uh... That's all. That's all I've got for for Jeff. How are you, how are you doing, Bunny? I am okay. I am okay. We are going Ooh. away for a while to up to Washington for my son in law's wedding. Hell yeah! Okay. And like we're going to go rent the car immediately after the show. That kind of a thing. So yeah, that's what's going on there. Cool. That's the current news. Other than that, uh, everything's going to hell. So, whatever. Yeah, Ev- everything, everything in the world is it. It everything's sad <laughs> and just getting worse. Yeah. See, sometimes I I think that I'm in the absolute worst uh, timeline, and everything's going to shit, and everything's horrible. There is one thing that cheers me up, and that's the fact that I live in the timeline where, huh, I'm going to go purchase some weed to the yeah. weed store. Which yeah. weed store should we go to? The one there, or the one there, or the one there, or the one there, or the one there. Uh, let's go to that one. Oh, no, I don't like that one. Let's go to this weed store. And you walk in. Weed store and then ten minute warning. warning. That was perfectly timed. Wow! And then you walk into the weed store. Hi, I'm a weed employee. What can I get you? And then you can say, "I want a weed that will make the walls turn into vines and uh, the ceiling hung with vines and the walls become the world all over." And takes me to where the wild things are. Okay. Here you go. It's called a purple nipple explosion. Let me put it in a bag. Here is a receipt. Thank you for shopping at the weed store. Yes. That's fascinating to me. Yes. Uh, We're going to need a lot of weed. We're going to need a lot of weed to get through this. Uh, Yep. The whole lead up to the election is going to be horrible uh i think that they need to do the american people at least one small favor and my god you haven't listened to me up to this point even though everything that i said was going to happen is happening from here on out regardless of the candidate any speech any rally any interview any public appearance of any sort, they must do it with a chimp. Hell. They have to do it with a chimp. They have to... Trump has to sit there and tell us how religious he is with a chimpanzee sitting on his lap. Hell. I'm down with that. That sounds like some sort of that that's that's a that's something the Klingons used to do. Yes, and, and it, it's a it's a sign of virility. So whoever yeah. the Democratic candidate is, I, I will I, I will accept nobody else except Ryan Reynolds. But anyway, then Ryan Reynolds has, when he's giving a speech has to be standing there, holding hands with a chimpanzee. Hell yeah. I pick Ryan Reynolds because I want somebody who will win. Of right. course, the Democrats are douchebags and they'll probably pick Hillary. Um, Joe Biden. If they pick Hillary, already... just head for the fucking border. Uh, Joe Biden has already endorsed Kamala Harris yes. as president. 
I think just to fuck with Trump, she should get Obama to be her president. That'd be fucking hilarious. That'd be so funny. No, Michelle Obama. Oh, Michelle Obama. Oh, man, people who would be pissed. Yeah. That would be wonderful. That would be that would be just mwah, chef's kiss. On the apocalypse, yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. Uh, man. I, I'm just really excited for this week's movies, the trip from 1967 and we've done that in a very early episode of yes. this show before and piranha which i don't think we've done before no i'm pretty sure we haven't but i don't uh, think i've seen it since it first came out yeah so uh, yeah. it was kind of like think... going in fresh yeah for me like i think i saw it in like high school or college but yeah yeah, this was kind of a fresh watch for me as well. Uh, excited to get to talking about that. But before we do, maybe we should take a break. Should we take a break? We should take a break. Yes, I agree. We will be right back with more of the Pope on Film after this. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Do-do-do-do-do. I'm not. 